Today we're going to talk about stainless steel kettles, all sizes including pressure and vacuum kettles. So the agenda today, where to find on Sigma's website, what a kettle is, uh, where customers use it upstream, downstream equipment, favorite manufacturers, features and benefits, that sort of thing. On our website, you can go to processing equipment and scroll down to kettle and then all four of the subcategories are there, listed there. The kettle definition is uh, basically it's used for cooking or heating of liquid products. Common sizes are from 40 gallons to 1,000 gallons. Uh, heating sources are steam, electric, or gas. They may or may not have agitation and then there's also sometimes they have a lid, sometimes they don't. Uh, two piece, three piece, hinged, or lift off. Pressure and vacuum kettle. That is, uh, it speeds up cooking and uh, it prevents discoloration and flavor loss, mainly used for things like jams and jellies. Um, two, 20 gallons to 400 gallons are currently listed on our website, um, but I think there's probably more sizes. And uh, they also can use steam, electric, or gas. And as well, they some av have agitation, some do not. These are more like uh, what you would find in grandma's kitchen, only on a much larger scale. It's like a pressure cooker. So what is agitation? It basically blends batches of various viscosities or tr they transfer heat while moving the product around. Creates and maintains a consistent product um, and the bars and scrapers are used to create a uniform product inside the kettle. Some of the common agitation methods are paddle, propeller, sweep, and scrape. The first one here um, has the scrape feature, but also has, you can see uh, there on the left-hand side is kind of an upside down Christmas tree agitation that helps mix the product as well. Single motion scrape surface, that is uh, basically scraping the sides of the unit to make sure that things don't stick. Like if you're cooking chili or vegetable soup, you don't want that stuff to stick. And then we have a double motion. And there's a lot going on in this video, but it, it's keeping the product moving so that it, it has consistent heat and uh, the temperature stays basically the same throughout. So upstream and downstream, uh, before the kettle, you would find slicing, cutting, scaling, pumps, mixers, blenders, that sort of thing. Uh, downstream, conveyors, pumps, fillers, sealers, labelers. I found this production line, it is tomato sauce. So basically beforehand, uh, this is, you know, from the very beginning of the washer, sorter, crusher of the tomatoes and then cookers. Uh, and then your kettle, there where the red arrow is, and uh, homogenizer, mixer, bottling, and so forth. Our first video is uh, Lee 225 gallon jacketed kettle. Welcome to Sigma Equipment. Today's equipment demonstration involves a Lee Industries 225 gallon half jacketed kettle. This specific kettle is equipped with an agitator motor fixed to the main frame on the back of the unit. The agitator motor is running on a 480 volt system three phase. The tilt cylinders on this specific machine are powered by water pressure. For demonstration purposes, air pressure was used for this video. This unit is jacketed, which means that the operator can control the temperature of the product inside. The jacket only covers the bottom half of the kettle and is heated using steam through the intake valve on the side of the tank. The maximum water pressure is 90 PSI with a max temperature of 332 degrees Fahrenheit. The agitator used on this kettle is a scrape agitator which has a fixed speed of 60 Hz. Both the agitator and the kettle have separate tilting features. The agitator will tilt back so that the scraper can be taken out of the kettle. The kettle can tilt forward to empty product and includes a lip for pouring. It is recommended that the frame be bolted to the floor during tilting. There's also a discharge valve at the bottom of the kettle. To learn more about this kettle and other equipment, please visit us at sigmaequipment.com. Our next video is a double, shows the double motion agitation uh, in this mixing kettle. It's a Lee Industries.
So you can see that it's mixing two different ways, uh, counterclockwise and then clockwise. Our favored manufacturers are the top row, Lee, Grown, and uh, Cleveland. The industries that these are commonly used in are pharmaceutical, dairy, pet food, beverage, and baby food. Some optional features, we like that when the kettle itself tilts, also flush type outlets, sanitary filling, fittings, clean and place system is also a nice option, as well as thermometer well, breather valve, pneumatic discharge, and load cells. For purchasing, we would need to know what the last product they ran in the kettle. That's important uh, for a future buyer. They want to know what was in there. Um, it doesn't have any agitation. If there's a motor, what is the horsepower? Um, capacity also is very important. For sales, we also need to know what they plan to make and if they need agitation. Is the product being heated or cooled? And how is the customer adding product to the kettle, manually or via pump? Lots of engineering questions. The main, I'll just cover the main uh, most important ones, I guess, uh, which are at the top. What is the capacity? That's the most important. Uh, if it's stainless steel, what is the grade? And uh, the source to use the kettle, heat the kettle, excuse me, steam, electric, or gas. And if the jacket is half or full, and if there's agitation, uh, what is the method of agitation? Our Sigma-owned example is a Cleveland 40-gallon steam kettle. As mentioned, 40 gallons is the capacity. It does have a scrape surface agitation, direct steam, and two-thirds jacketed. So the summary for today is kettles are used for a variety of blending, melting, heating, cooking, and storing purposes. Some kettles have, uh, are pretty complex. Others are very simple. Uh, they do have multifunctionality due to the various uh, agitation. And uh, range of sizes, five gallons to uh, 10,000 gallons, and they may or may not have agitation included. Any questions or comments?